Hey, it's Paris. Decided to make a video because I hit 25K on my YouTube channel last week and it made me realize I've been pretty lazy with content. Obviously, life busy, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I collaborate with Kind of Funny and the Gamer Tag Radio, but this is my own personal YouTube channel and I want to put more content out here and I want to have these kind of conversations where I just turn on the camera and just talk about what's ever happening in gaming and tech. So I'm going to use this opportunity to discuss Xbox. I know that's a shocker, right? But Xbox just put out a video with Sarah Bond where she highlighted their partnership with AMD for their next generation hardware. And she touched on a lot of things that I've been talking about the past few months and honestly over the past few years, because clearly we know they're going to start synergizing with Windows. Phil Spencer, even in an interview last week, talked about this is the closest collaboration that Xbox and the Windows teams have had in the history of, of Xbox. You know, obviously, we're going back almost 25 years at this point. And. The reason I bring that up is she talked about the partnership with AMD and she talked about Windows becoming essentially the biggest gaming platform for all intents and purposes. And it just makes a lot of sense. So I kind of want to run down that play anywhere handhelds and all these things that, that go along with that. So it makes sense that Xbox would start to utilize Windows as a true gaming platform. And the reason being is, think about it, it is the dominant operating system globally, right? The vast majority, there's billions of people that use Windows every day, obviously for productivity and, you know, some use it for gaming. And I think Microsoft's approach and Xbox's approach now is let's get more people on the Windows platform. Let's essentially make any device, any Windows device, a gaming platform. You have Xbox. You have acquisitions that you've done over the past few years. They're essentially the biggest gaming publisher in the world at this point. So why not leverage Windows to essentially reach more people with your gaming platform, all your games, all your services that comes with it? So that obviously starts with the games themselves, but a service like Game Pass. Right now you have PC Game Pass, but bringing Game Pass to the Windows platform, Xbox Play Anywhere, which they've talked about, and I'll get into that a little more in depth here in just a second, bringing that to the PC platform. And then now we've obviously seen with this handheld, the uh, Asus ROG Xbox Ally, that they're now going to curate the Xbox experience on Windows, where you're turning off the desktop, you're prioritizing more of the, the gaming services within Windows to get better performance, right, on this handheld. We've obviously already talked about that. But the whole point of this is now you're going to go into this next generation. We know they're going to still make hardware. So there's going to be some form of a console, right? Hybrid PC, whatever the case may be. But we've gotten a peek into what the strategy is going to look like from them. It's going to be a more open platform where, yes, you will have the Xbox slash the Microsoft store, you know, on the Windows platform. But you can also have Steam, the Epic Store, Ubisoft Connect, GOG, Bat Battle.net on down the line. In other words, any digital store where you get your games from, you will be able to utilize these on whatever this new Xbox experience is going to be on Windows. We're obviously going to get a peek at that here in 2025 again with the asus handheld but when you look to the future when you look to 2026 because now this is starting to shape up to be a big 25th anniversary for xbox at this point clearly we're going to see you know the gears and the fables and the the forces and potentially the halos of the world for the 25th anniversary but now i'm starting to think we're going to see whatever this next gen hardware is going to be as well and it kind of just makes a lot of sense with this partnership with amd but the reason i'm i'm kind of correlating all this together is you know there's been a lot of confusion with this handheld and is it an xbox console is it a pc handheld what is it today it is a pc handheld because even with Xbox Play Anywhere, you cannot play all of your Xbox games. And I talked about this on Kind of Funny yesterday where, you know, third party is going to be a big sticking point for this moving forward as far as adopting Play Anywhere. But I think when we get into this next generation, clearly they're going to have some partnerships with, with third parties. But, you know, all their first party content is going to be Play Anywhere enabled, which is going to allow you to buy the game once and then play it on whatever device you want you know, be it the cloud, be it obviously a console, PC, etc. But the bigger question right now is backwards compatibility. 
aka Ford's compatibility. Am I going to be able to play my legacy Xbox games on a Windows PC? I think the answer to that is yes. And I think you got a good hint towards that with what Sarah Bond talked about in that video earlier. There, whatever form of emulation, however they're going to do it, you're going to see your your back catalog of digital Xbox games be available to you on whatever this next generation Xbox console is. And I think they're going to take it a step further. And I don't know if this will happen in 2026, but I think essentially any Windows device will be able to play your legacy Xbox games. Again, be it AI emulation, however it is, they're going to do this. Obviously, we still need to wait to get the answers on that, but that's the future. That's where they're going. They're going to, there's going to be a day where if I decided to build a PC and I installed Windows 11, 12, whatever it's going to be at that time, I can essentially put it into game mode and it's an Xbox. I think that happens. I think we're going to get there. I think you will get to a point where you will have the option to literally start up this PC. It will instantly bring up the Xbox app, bring up the Xbox experience. The digital stores that you already have installed will show those games in that library and you'll be able to play those games. And then you will have the backwards compatibility component to it. So your Xbox digital library, be it your Series X, your Xbox One, or even your Xbox 360 games will be available to you. Now, I will caveat that and say third party may still be an issue with that. We'll obviously have to see how licensing goes for these kind of things. But I would imagine anything that's currently backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X today would be backwards compatible on whatever this next generation Xbox is going to be. And as an extension, any Windows device. That is the future I think Xbox is headed towards. That honestly excites me because it just gives me more flexibility in where I want to play my games. I mean, look, they've done the multi-platform thing. I know I've taken my heat over that because I did not think they were going to do this, but clearly they are. And this is the, the future we're in. So yes, games will be on PlayStation. Games will be on the Switch too, but you will also have an Xbox console where you can play your Xbox games and your third party games. And by extension, you're also going to have that ability on a Windows platform. And this is where I think as far as play anywhere goes, third party, you know, future third party games that don't participate in play anywhere. You will have the ability to essentially buy those on Steam or the Epic Store or whatever third party digital store and still have access to those through the Xbox experience. This is where we're headed. I think it's exciting. I do. I, again, I, I, I am want to be crystal clear that I think Xbox still needs to do a better job with their messaging, especially the lead up to this handheld for the ROG ally, the Xbox, the ROG Xbox ally, however you say the name, even that name, it's, it's long to say, but you get my point because that today cannot play all your Xbox games. And if you just watch that trailer at the Xbox showcase, you may be under the assumption that you can. So I do hope they get that messaging better lead up to this but in my personal opinion this is a pre-alpha look into the future of where xbox is headed so i hope everything i said made sense like i said i want to do more of these videos and just kind of get my thoughts out there uninterrupted as far as what i think about gaming obviously there's a bunch of games that will be coming up here this summer that i'll be talking about i'm currently playing death stranding 2 so look for a review of for that on the channel as well but this is paris I'm just doing this all one hot take on the video. So, uh, you know, apologies for any stammering or stuttering as I go through this. But, you know, like I said, this is my channel. This is my format. This is how I want to be able to convey some of my thoughts about gaming and tech. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the first video and what I hope will be many as I give you my thoughts on gaming and tech in the world. This is Paris. Thank you for watching.